Hey everybody, Devin here again. And in today's guitar lesson, I'm gonna teach you several country and bluegrass strumming patterns. And it'll really make your rhythm guitar stand out and sound that much more country. So the first thing I wanna talk about is your choice of guitar pick. I know it sounds like it might not be that important, but I think it's really important what guitar pick you use. And about six months ago, I discovered this guitar pick called the Blue Chip Pick. It's a company out of Knoxville, Tennessee. And really this pick company has taken over the country and bluegrass market. All the big names and uh, big bands are playing with these picks. They have all sorts of different kinds. I like the STP 50. And the thing that's so great about this pick is that it's got a bevel. They call it, I, I order the right-handed speed bevel. And it really allows this pick to just glide across the strings like glass. There's not much scraping sound with the picks. It's just the smoothest pick I've ever played with. So I'd highly recommend getting that. It'll improve your strumming and uh, rhythm guitar tremendously. Here's that pick up close, just so you can see it. You can see right there that shiny reflective edge. That's that bevel I was talking about. The next thing I want to talk about is how you grip the pick. And I can't really stress this enough. Uh, in the past, I used to just kind of grip it however I felt comfortable. And I didn't realize the way I was gripping the pick was a very weak grip. And I actually took a guitar lesson myself from Brad Davis, I don't know, maybe like six or seven months ago. And what he told me to do and how he showed me to hold the pick, it completely transformed my guitar playing 110%. It, uh, it helped my rhythm guitar playing and it helped my lead guitar playing. So let me walk up here and show you what I used to do. What I used to do is hold the pick kind of like this, both my pointer finger and my thumb just fully extended, which is actually a really weak grip to have. I'm kind of exaggerating it, but what Brad Davis said to do was to turn those in like this. So you'll, your pointer finger and your thumb are pretty much parallel right there. You just have a, a little a little bit of the pick sticking out, if you can see that. So it's a very strong grip. It's great for rhythm guitar and your lead guitar playing. All right, so enough of that boring stuff. Let's get into learning some bluegrass and country strumming patterns. So first strumming pattern I wanna talk about, if you've seen a lot of my other videos, you probably already know this strumming pattern, but I think this is kind of a go-to strumming pattern for a lot of modern country guitar songs that are played on the radio today. And the strumming pattern goes like this. It's down, down, up, up, down, up. Just repeat it over and over again. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then let's practice it just playing the G major. What I like to do sometimes is on the down strokes, I like to hit the bass notes a little more and focus on strumming on those bass notes. And then on the up strokes, I like to kind of hit those high strings only. So like this, for example. So now let's go over a more traditional country strumming pattern. This is probably the most basic and well-known country strumming pattern that's out there. And it sounds like this. Pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, down, pick, down. So over and over again. And when you're playing that G major, you know, the pick is gonna be on the bass note. So in the case of the G major open chord, bass note, that G right there, the sixth string. But obviously when you switch to a C major, you're gonna have to play the bass note on the fifth string right there. And one very important thing to keep in mind as you kind of get this ingrained in your mind, 
as far as country strumming patterns go, more traditional country strumming patterns. Think about that riff we just learned, that strumming pattern we just learned, the traditional one. The pick down. If you count it out, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You'll notice that you want to emphasize the first count and the third count. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, like that. Not as much important on this strumming pattern just because it's so stripped down, but when you start adding in other strums in there, you still want to emphasize that first and third down, down strumming pattern, like so. sound that everybody expects to hear. So now let's add on to that basic traditional strumming pattern and just add a, one more upstroke at the end. So pick, down, pick, down, up. So that up is new. So let's take it one step farther, make it a little more complex, and add one more strum in there. So the new strumming pattern now is gonna be pick, down, pick, up, down, up. that bass note but still when we're doing these this actual strums we're gonna strum focusing on strings one through four one two three and four it makes it a lot more dynamic sounding it gives your rhythm guitar a little more texture besides just Good to your ear. Pick down, pick up, down, pick down, pick up, down. And another thing I like to do when I'm playing the G open G major chord, when I'm playing country rhythm guitar, I like to do a little hammer on. Use my left pointer finger. So you start with your left pointer finger on the second fret sixth string and you just hammer on to your third finger and then switch to the G major chord form. Another thing that's very common in country rhythm guitar is the concept of alternating bass notes. In other words, alternating bass notes like so. So, all we're doing here, let's focus on the basic strumming pattern. Just very simple. Pick, down, up, pick, down, up, pick, down, just over and over, over and over again. And so we got this C major open chord going. And the bass notes are going to alternate between the fifth string, the C, or the bass note for the C major. And then we're going to switch to the sixth string. And obviously you're going to have to move your left ring finger to the third fret of the sixth string to play that second bass note. So, fifth string, sixth string. Just alternate that back and forth. Then when you want to play
play a G major. Sound like this. Bass note starts on the sixth string. The second bass note we're alternating to is the fourth string. Your left hand will just stay where, right where it is for this one. And the last one I want to show you is my personal favorite. It sounds like this. It sounds great at all speeds. Very slow. Or sped up. doing here pretty much is starting out with a pick down so a very simple start to it then second half is pick up pick and that up pick there is on the fourth string so second half starting over pick up pick down up. so from the very beginning it goes pick that right hand to catch that up pick on the fourth string properly. So when you want to switch to a C major, that up pick we talked about a second ago is still on the fourth string. So and switch into a D major. The up pick is gonna move to the third string now. It's great for country and bluegrass, I think. Real cool sounding strumming pattern. And that concludes the lesson. I really hope those techniques helped you all out and uh, hopefully I'll see you all next time.